My name is Trent McGrath. I'm the founder of WideAwakeNews.com and a host on Rinse Radio Network. Before I get going with the European debt crisis and the non-deal, I want to take just a second and thank the people who are actually in the streets in New York protesting Wall Street, protesting corruption, protesting the influence uh, in this uh, you know, financial and legal-based capitalist system that has destroyed a real, true, free market capitalist system. Thank you for your protest. Thank you for your endurance. Thank you for going out in a nonviolent, uh, peaceful manner, but standing up and saying, enough is enough. You know, we've been talking about there will be civil unrest in this country. It is here. I think it's going to uh, not be uh, uh, done away with just because it's not receiving media attention. In fact, you know, uh, unrest and protest is spreading across the country. So thank you to you heroes who are out there um, in the streets and saying enough is enough. All right, I'm going to do my best to try to explain this European debt deal that is not a deal at all. At least it's not a new deal. It's the same deal that was in place yesterday, the same deal that is today will be the deal tomorrow. What the mainstream media is uh, pumping out all this optimism about, what uh, the president and Tim Geithner have all the hope over, what all the optimism is about is a Tim Geithner engineered deal that has already been soundly rejected by Europe. The deal isn't very difficult to explain because it's a lot like the TARP deal we had here in 2008 and 2009. In a nutshell, a bunch of European bankers, bankers who partake uh, in the Eurozone, get together in the form of the European Investment Bank, and they have access to a TARP fund, the EFSF. Through this, they can take money and they can create an, an investment vehicle. You know, where have we heard this term before? In, in an exotic investment vehicle that has crippled the planet at this point. Through this SPV, they can sell bonds to investors using that capital in order to buy sovereign debt from banks in Europe that are currently holding sovereign debt. So it's nothing more than a transfer, nothing more than a Ponzi scheme. But at the end of it, just like we see here, the people holding the debt will be the citizens of Europe. It's nothing more, as far as I'm concerned, in my opinion, than one more scam to shift failure uh, onto the backs of the people of Europe. Now, it's bad enough that countries like Greece are about to default. With this program, you will see uh, this debt being spread to Germany, to France, and to, na and to nations that economies are not in the same position as these pig nations. This is why we've seen this rally on Wall Street. This is why we've seen the president talking about it and Tim Geithner talking about it as a must-do deal. But the fact of the matter is, Europe isn't on board with this. In fact, the European or the German finance minister came out in an article today, tonight in fact, saying that America needs to mind its own business and get its house in order. They would be absolutely fools to sign on to this program. So all this optimism that we've been uh, inundated with for the last two days is about to fall apart. But you see, they need to have this deal done. They need to evaporate the borders in Europe. They need to evaporate the representative government in Europe in order that they can have a smaller controlling group in order to uh, determine the destiny of those 500 million people. What's happened here hasn't quite happened in Europe yet. A lot of people say that, you know, Europeans are socialist, that they're uh, going down some communist path. The fact is, if an American says that, they don't realize that the, the situation we're in, in our own country, we have went from a government uh, having a Congress of 535 members with somehow the ability to insert a super Congress that can write legislation and then have the full backing of both leaders of uh, the House and the Senate and the President in order to ram it down the American people's throat. We talk about socialism in Europe, but what we've done here in this country is even far worse. We've taken the private failure and made it public. That is why this debt deal will not pass in Europe, because you still have sovereign nations that are saying, no way, we're not going to take on the debt of our neighbor just because we trade in the same currency. The idea that somehow a magic bullet occurred over the weekend is nothing more than propaganda or optimism. Stories are attached. That's all I got.